Welcome to Gear Gabbers. Today we are going to talk about charging for your Tesla at home. The most important charging that you'll do with your car. You'll charge at super stations, but you're going to do that on a trip, mostly when you're taking long drives. So I wanted to cover specifically the wall charger, the wall connector, versus a 220 NEMA 1450 versus a 110. So your car will come with the 110 outlet ready to go. You have to buy an adapter for NEMA 1450 or a variety of others that will plug into a 220 outlet. And then you have also the wall connector. The wall con connector is gonna be the most expensive, but it's also gonna be the fastest. And so how much faster is it? Is it really worth Spending $500, I'm going to tell you today how to save a bunch of money uh, off, the, off the retail price of the wall connector if you're interested in one. I'll put that down in the comments later. So let's get into it. But first, let's do a pointless logo sequence. Sorted out, you're probably picking between a NEMA 1450 220 plug and a wall connector. That's probably why you're watching this video. So I did the heavy lifting. I installed both because we're probably going to have another EV in the garage at some point. So I went ahead and future proofed that while the electrician was out. So here are my results from the 1450 versus the wall connector. On the 1450 220 plug, I'm getting 30 miles per hour of charge. On the wall connector, I'm getting 45 miles per hour of charge. So 15 miles per hour more on the wall charger. That's significant depending on your usage of the vehicle. Let's take a look at some of the stats on this. Okay, so you can see from the chart that the included regular standard plug that you get with the car gets you about two to three miles per hour of charge time depending on your vehicle depending on probably um, a couple other factors but two to three miles per hour is not going to be enough charging for most people so that leads you to a choice between a 220 plug which is basically a dryer plug is a dry plug to and a wall connector so you can see the published range for the 220 which is a 45 dollar adapter um, you can see all the adapters listed out here but we're looking at the bottom of the chart at the 1450 depending on what car you have that's what you can expect for miles per hour you might get a little bit more than that depending on your breaker and those things i think the spec on the 220 uh, is a 40 amp breaker um, so make sure you get the specs off the website and have your electrician install it per spec if you have the room in your breaker box and it can handle it should be no problem you're going to get 20 to 30 miles per range for that for the extra 500 bucks on the wall charger 350 after the tax credit i will link to the tax form in the description for that you're getting 30 to 42 miles of published range depending on your vehicle and what breaker you use I got actually more than the published range on my Model Y. I actually got, so I was a 60 amp breaker per spec, which got me to 48 uh, amps in 11.5 kilowatt hours. And I am actually consistently getting 45 miles per hour of charge for my Model Y. So pretty significant. If you can swing the extra 350, it looks cool too. So if that's a factor for you, you know, maybe, maybe you consider that uh, too. The other thing I like about it is I don't ever take my mobile charger out of my vehicle. I just leave that in the car. It's there if I need it as I'm traveling along. Uh, I've got a, the standard 110 um, outlet and I've got the 220 uh, adapters. I just leave that in the trunk. I don't ever have to take it out. I just pull the wall charger off, plug it in. It's a pretty good situation. So if you can swing it and it's not a really long run, um, it's a great, it's a really great option and was perfect for my personal situation. I hope this helped you guys sort through the decision here. A lot of us are going to be making that decision. So um, I hope this helps and I did some of the heavy lifting since I got both installed and was able to test them side by side. So more content to come. Hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by.